Yo, Elliot, one time while conversating with you during office hours, you mentioned I have a lot of warrior energy. For knowledge and for self-assessment purposes, how do you spot warrior energy so quickly? So when I say warrior energy, I'm talking about the propendency to do things, to get active with what you're pursuing, right? So we have the thinking energy, which is, is magician quality, which means I spend a lot of time in thought, but not, never actually take any action, never actually do anything, never actually speak up or step out or, you know, take motivated steps. Uh, the feeling is also associated with the lover. And in that aspect, it's more a matter of getting caught up in your feels. And so I'm not, I'm talking about these objectively. In other words, um, not neutrally. I'm talking about them neutrally. I'm not saying good or bad because there's a positive and a negative. There's a light and a dark to each of these aspects. It's about creating balance. Someone who's exhibiting warrior energy in a, in a positive or negative way is someone who is active, who's actively doing something, who's actively engaged in something, who's willing to take action. And so I don't remember exactly the context of our conversation, but when I said that, it probably came from my sense that you're not afraid to step up. You're not afraid to take action, um, which could be a virtue. It could also be a vice. I have a lot of warrior energy as well. Uh, and sometimes it gets me into a lot of trouble. It means that I end up being very steeped in activity, doing things that bear no fruit because of the, the anxious sense that I got to get something done. It, and so that's a war when the warrior behaves in this way is a number of things. Uh, number one of which is he's not still and what requires stillness is faith. And so I know I'm acting out of fear a lot of times when I'm doing things that are unfruitful just for the sake of thinking I need to get something done. I caught myself in that place earlier this week. And then I realized what I was doing. I was reverting to old um, unresourceful warrior patterns within. And so I began to let go and relax and realize that I have way more resources available to me than I'm, that, I'm, that I allow myself to take credit for. Help, I have helpers, I have people that can help me. I don't need to do everything myself. And so just something to be aware of if you find that you're the type that, like me, uh, can get caught up in activity rather than action. And I've always spoken about action in terms of proceeding from a place of stillness. It's pure. Action is pure. The Buddhists call, say right action. That's the term that they would use to describe something that comes from love. It's, it's pure. It's not motivated by fear or um, anxiety or anything beyond peace and faith. And so a warrior, the warrior is interesting in that if he's not devoted to the king, essentially, and, and if the king is not devoted to God, because because the God energy is king energy. God is where the king, the king aspect is where God pours into our lives, right? It's by opening up, it's by being, it's by trusting, it's through faith. That's what the king is all about. But if so, but if the warrior is not devoted to his king and thus to Christ and, and God, then he is a slave, He's a slave to his fears, he's a, and he's more of a mercenary uh, or a soldier, you know, who's 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 for hire by darker forces. The minute the warrior is oriented towards being the king aspect, and to the trans, Carl Jung would refer to it as the transcendent other. This is another way of saying God's kingdom, God being, if he's not devoted to God, then he's devoted to what is lower, what is created and what is fleeting. And so we, I think the, the most purest form of warrior energy expression is from a, it, it proceeds from a place of stillness and it proceeds into a place of divinity. Right. So it's coming. It doesn't. Otherwise, it's trapped. Right. I think of pure, pure below, meaning the motivation is pure. Uh, the, it comes from stillness. But then that, that stillness is appropriated by faith. And so that's how you know that you're your warrior in your fullness. And they all work together. Kind of a long winded answer there. But 
That's what I spotted in you. Apparently that day I said that done.